Oh, hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of Let's Play uh, Dungeons of Dreadmore Conquest of the Weaselands. So we're continuing from where we left off last time. We have a bunch of stuff to still do. For the most part we kind of finished exploring the map on the last... Uh, on the last iteration that we did over here so there's not much left we thankfully defeated the the unfriendly bai thingy that uh, was plaguing us so that's quite good not much left not much else left to do over here right now i had to clean up my inventory to make space for other stuff we still have the corp chat the melancholic pork which we have to which we have to deliver to a specific place on the map, which I do not know where that even is, honestly. Okay, so a lot of creatures are still attacking us, which is quite unfortunate, but we're going to deal with them quite easily. So let's see. Siegfried is finally trying to kill me, that's unfortunate. We're going to handle him quite easily though, not that much to worry about, like we have a lot of stuff to do. But first, let's see, uh, I think the problem is that we need to teleport ourselves to, an entire, to the upper northern area of the map again. So we need to use those satanic displacement runes to teleport ourselves. Which I forgot where that was. I think this was it. Yeah, this was it. So now we're back at the upper half of the map. I'm so tempted to open that uber chest, but usually when I do that, very, very bad things happen. So I don't want to risk it right now. Let's see what else we can do. We've got some grated cheese over here and some rustic caltrops. Okay. We've got a robe, which is not that Im impressive. Some more cr crude blade traps. Oops, I should have, uh, have disarmed that before I walked over it. There's also an aluminum tube right here. The skills that we have are quite nice because we can actually disable traps quite easily. Which is quite nice. Okay, so we disable more stuff. Let's advance our tinkering skill to be something even better. Let's go to Cog Jockey. Now you know the difference between a, ma a mainspring and an escape wheel and can set cogs spinning at separate but complementary gear ratios. Interesting. That doesn't sound that great, but it improves our tinkering skill, so that's going to be useful for us at some point. We get some fairy water. Let's eat it. Like, we have some fungus that we should probably eat. Let's eat the fairy water. So, from eating the fairy water, we get fairy water fungal healing. The fairy water heals you by way of tingling fungal power. Okay, so that's not really necessary at this point because our health is already at full, but it might become useful in the future. For propaganda poster, have you seen this large eyebrowed person? They are wanted on charges of vandalism, looting and mass slaughter. Report sightings to Lord Dreadmore for rich rewards. When you walk with Dreadmore, you walk with victory. May his black geometry guide us. This message approved by Dreadmore. Okay. Let's open this area up. We've got a wooden barrel with some chalk in it, patch of dirt, which doesn't seem to do much. What does this lever do? You hear sounds of machinery, okay, that's interesting. So we disarm that trap, we destroy the statue of Dreadmore. Foppish tunic, that's not that great. We get some aged cheese, amber, which is a gem. Let's eat some more uh, stuff. Let's eat this fell truffle. It causes fell power. Still don't know what that does, but okay. 
what's over here another staircase to the lower levels which we do not want to take just yet i'm sure let's open this chest which is locked so we cannot even open it we have a lot of components like we can disassemble a lot of these traps honestly which is quite nice honestly Okay, so this gnome wants to attack us, but we are going to handle him. We've got a my, an, another My Little Anvil Junior smithing kit. Or no, we have... This is the first My Little Anvil Junior smithing kit that we have, so that's quite new. Okay, so right now we have healing stuff on us, healing fungus, which is quite nice. We cannot open this chest because we have no more uh, lockpicks, neither this one. And this is a very rich area, I will say that. Okay, so we are already out of uh, inventory space again, so let's teleport back to where we were. Where are we? That did that did not teleport us very far. Now we're in an entirely different area. I knew that this area of the map needed to be populated with something, but I just didn't know what. So we're handling everything quite well. We finally found... Oh no, this isn't what I was looking for. We found Zinc Blende, a delightful source of zinc. Oh shit, we just took damage from a trap. Okay, let's teleport back. We need to sell some of this stuff because we're not doing so hard right now. We have a full inventory and with a full inventory we cannot do much. Hematite! This is what I was looking for to make a crossbow, but I do not have space in my inventory to pick it up. So we have to return. Man, this map is big. If there's anything you need to know about this game is that it has some really large maps. Uh, without the minimap to guide us, we would be lost very quickly. And I do mean very quickly. Where is the way out? Hell, even with the... The, the minimap at our side, I'm still getting lost quite a lot. Okay, so we got teleported back to where we should have been. Okay, so we are looking for the shop again. So let's go to the shop. We've already been here. Wait, where am I going? This needs to go through here, right? Okay, so we're going we're being attacked by Am Amazonian bumblebee persons. And by a deagle. This is not the way to go. No, this is not the way to go. We have to go around, I guess, somehow. Wait, we're on the right, wrong section of the floor? What the hell is going on? I don't know where I am, god damn it. Like I'm trying to get on the purple area of the map, which is the shop, but I do not know how to get there. There we go, this is what we needed. Man, this map is large. There's the shop. Take me over there. Take me over there, goddammit. Okay, so let's uh, sell some of our stuff. So we don't... I don't know... I do not know what we need, but I don't think we need the boulder draw plate, nor the shotty dwarven ID. 
Fruit Blade Trap, Fire Spout Mine, Rusty Call Traps, Shiv. I'm gonna keep the mushrooms just because I like eating them. Chalk we, don't, we do not need, Brass Mechanisms we do not need. This Foppish Tunic we do not need, this Robe we do not need, this Shiv we do not need. Aluminium Tube we do not need. Okay, so we still have a lot of things. Sewer Brood, do we not have Sewer Brood? Yes, we do have Sewer Brood. This should be consolidated over here. Okay, we rest we have... We have some stuff. But it's mostly useful stuff. We also have our chemical ingredients, which I do not know if we can use to craft stuff. If, as far as the chemical ingredients are concerned, yeah, we have the portal steel to allow us to do things, but the portal steel is not that useful, all things considered. It just allows us to do some very basic stuff, and even those, I don't think we can do much because we do not have the level yet for these. Like, for example, even if we had two plums, we could not make a sleeve of it because we do not have the, the the alchemy skill level in order to produce it. We can, maybe we can make a dwarven gut rod though. Let's see, can we make one? You are not yet crafty enough to craft this craft. Yes, so we cannot make a dwarven gut rod because we do not have the level necessary for this. So, all of this stuff is pretty much irrelevant for us. I do not even know why we need oil of vitriol in Aquaregia, so I might as well sell these things. Because I do not know, I do not think we can use them in any crafting recipe as far as I've seen. They can be used to make wands, I guess. But will that really impact us that much? Making wands is not really my specialty. We can use oil of vitriol to make a voltaic cell though. And we can use a verdant poison to make a... What the hell, what the hell is this? I do not even know what this item is. And I do not think we can even make it honestly. Yeah, I do not know. Why would any of these things be useful though? Like, I like tinkering, don't get me wrong, but how would any of these things be, be useful to us? Like, okay, I get it. Maybe some of these things can be used to make traps, but as a whole, I don't think that trap making is that great. Maybe the frag bomb would be cool though. I mean, we would need a makeshift bomb, and to make a makeshift bomb, we need black powder. Okay, so I kind of get what we are going for, for right now. Can we make a deep omelet? Let's see if we can make... This should not require any skill, and we would just need four digger legs, of which we have seven. So I think we should be able to craft this. Yeah, so we did craft it. I do not, does making, does crafting increase our skill? I do not know. I should look at that in the future. Okay, so right now we do not need a lot of this stuff. So let's just, let's move on. This, if we had this, I forgot what this item was called, but if we had that, maybe this would help us with the fact that we have a lot of potions, like maybe we could use the aqua regia to make a solution of gold or stuff like that. Okay, so as it stands, let's just sell this oil of vitriol, this potion, uh, this verdant poison as well. Puff balls I'm going to keep, solution of gold I'm going to sell. What else can we sell? The bolts might be useful once we get the crossbow. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the time being. We can also send, sell some of this stuff, but... Potion of Mana, I really don't think I'll need. So let's sell that as well. I don't know, man. This is quite interesting. I need something a bit better, but this shop just doesn't seem to have it. The best thing this shop has is the Brutal Club, which is a, a level 3 Mace class weapon. And even that, I'm like... It's not that great. Or the giant stone club. 
I don't know. I am not impressed. Okay, let's move on. We're wasting time. And I don't like to waste time. Okay, so this fucker wants to kill me. So let's kill him first. Let's eat another Adios puffball. That's only going to give us more puffballs, isn't it? Might as well consume it entirely. Now yeah, we have some puffballs that we can use. Let's also eat the prince. And the prince gave us Regal Veeam. You are imbued with Regal Veeam, which gave us extra health. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Good to know. Let's teleport back. This fucker wants to play with us. We get the nightcap. What does the nightcap give us if we eat it? The nightcap gives us nightcap fungal ma mana. The nightcap replenishing your mana with... The nightcap is replenishing your mana with tingling fungal power. So we do not need that. Okay, so let's keep on doing our things for the time being. Our inventory is gonna get full really fucking quickly though. We need to be aware of that. Hopefully we'll finish exploring this first full floor in this video so that we can move on to something a bit more interesting and move on to the next floor soon enough. We get some more the prints which is quite nice. Let's disarm this boulder drop plate. Let's pull this lever which unlocked this area which gave us a potion of clear vision. This flask glows at you like a clear sky. That's quite cool. Okay. Let's teleport using this. So we're still in the upper half of the map, which means that we have a lot of things still left to do. Let's go through here. No, I do not wish to bash this open. We've got an X class weapon, with, but a really shitty one. Oh, we've got the lost wizard keys. This is quite nice. This dimensional key bears a mysterious legend. Property of Kalodaz, pa a patron of the dark arts. Wizardry while you wait. Pre print prices driven mad by eldritch horrors. Click the dimensional key widget on your status, status bar to visit your personal pocket dimension. So this allows us to go into our own pocket dimension, which is quite nice. Here what we basically can is to drop some stuff that we do not immediately need right now and uh, sell it, I believe. And uh, it's ours uh, forever. Like the personal pocket dimension is really nice. Finally found find hematite, so let's see if we can go to crafting our own bow now. I think we should be able to. So we need an iron ingot. No, this where, where was the iron ingot? Platinum ingot, plastic ingot. Here we go. Here we have a iron ingot. So let's craft this. So we did craft two iron ingots actually, which is quite nice. Can we also make a steel ingot from that iron ingot? That would be quite nice. To make a steel ingot, we need bitumous coal and chalk. Oh, I already sold my chalk, but maybe we can find some more. Adventuring pants. Are we wearing any pants right now? We are not. Let's put on the adventuring pants then. This is gonna help us. Clockwork drill bomb. Okay, so copper wire, iron bomb. With tinkerer parts, we can make a clockwork drill bomb. I, I do not have the main ingredients for this though. Not right now, anyway. Okay, let's get rid of this bird because it's really annoying me. Get a plastic ingot, which is quite interesting. I'm not sure if I, that will come to good use, but we shall see, I guess. Now yeah, we get a copper ingot, as well as a crude iron maze. Yeah, our, our inventory is almost full again, which is quite unfortunate. 
Spaghetti bean Neves throw the somnambulant nature, which is a ring. Let's take this and equip it immediately. We also get a bookshelf with a recipe. We get a hard cider, which is quite nice. Oh shit, I should have designed that. Oh well. This is a food vendor. This is more hematite that we can use to make some uh, iron ink. Uh, was it iron ingots or what was it? Yes, uh, iron ingots. We get more adventuring pants and I'm already full again, so that's unfortunate. I also get bauxite. I kind of regret selling that chalk now that was chalk would have been useful. Yeah, I have a full inventory again. Where is the second shop? There should be more shops in this game. I do not know where the second shop even is. Ah, here it is. Thank, thank the fucking god. That's what I needed. We got teening gods. Do we, ha do we have chalk by any chance? We do not seem to have any chalk. Nothing that strikes me as particularly useful, but I'm very glad that this shop is here because now... Oh, golden axe. That's so amazing. We kind of want that. Okay, so let's sell this amber. Uh, what else can we sell? I want to sell the adventuring pants. The puffish tunic. The adventuring gloves I kind of want to equip actually. So let's just do that, just that. Pattern poison I do not need. Potion of clear vision, I do not think I'll need. Aqua Rage, I don't think I'll ever need. Plastic ingot and copper ingot, I don't think I'll need these two. Let's sell the bo these things though. Hematite I can use for crafting more iron wars. You know what, let's see if we can find more chalk. So we found, we finally found another shop for, for us to sell things at. It was about time if you ask me. Let's pull this lever and this is gonna give us some more fell truffle, which is quite nice. Let's eat the fell truffle, why not? Over there, there's some nice things that we might want, but sadly I cannot get to that area. We found more enemies for our souls. The deagle is not attacking me at the moment, which is quite nice. The deagle was the only smart one of the bunch. Okay, so we got rid of those fuckers. We get some brimstone from this room, which is not exactly my thing, but okay. Why not? Do we have the necessary thing to make to craft a steel ingot though? Because that's what I want. I, I want to make a steel ingot and steel ingots are really fucking annoying. Oh, we can make a steel ingot from scrap steel. Although I do not know if I can, if I've ever had scrap steel actually. But we can also make it from bitumous coal and chalk if we end as well as an iron ingot. Bitumous coal I think I've seen somewhere, so I know we can get, but chalk we've already sold, so I do not know if we can find some uh, some other chalk on this floor. Would be nice if we could, but yeah, I don't know. Here's some bauxite, some wine, tentacular wand. Okay. Not open that. Not open that either, neither do you, should you open that. What the hell is this? Ascidium Salis. I do not know what that's used for. Do not bash that open. Potion of Diet Empowerment. I think this will be very useful for us. 
We find another disposable ingot press, some hematite to make more iron ingots, bitumous coal we get right now, and copper ingot. Now, I still need chalk. If I could find chalk, that would be quite nice, but I do not know if I can. Satanic displacement rune. So right now, we teleported ourselves to the entire opposite location of the map, and we are already out of inventory space again. God damn it, inventory space is so... You know, I think like these mushrooms are seriously impairing me because they're taking space in my inventory. Blunge cap vampirism. The greedy blunge cap gives you the ability to drain life from your enemies when you attack them. Okay, that's cool. Okay, let's sell some more things. Okay, we only need one wand. Let's sell the tentacular wand. The crude stone axe, the crude iron mace. Let's sell all of these things. Hematite, I'm going to keep. Bauxite, I think you need for aluminium, which I do not really need at this point in time. Copper ingots, I do not need. Bitumous coal, I might need to make a ste steel, which would be quite nice. The hard cider and the pear wine, I do not need. Most of my inventory is taken up by food, which is uh, food and mushrooms actually, which, which is quite annoying. Can't I sell some of these things? Dr. Sanin's new style piece, no, I really do not need. The Wand of Bling, I really do not need either. Infernal Potion, maybe I'll need that, I do not know. Sell that. Potion of invisibility, this might prove to be useful. Okay, so we rearranged some of our inventory and now we should be a bit better. We have a lot of things in our inventory. Murderous Rutabaga. Known also as the Swedish Turnip, evidently root vegetables are huge and murderous in the Viking lands. This monster is trying to kill you. Okay, let's get rid of it. Got rid of that. Let's kill this one as well. Let's kill this one as well. There's a bunch of guys over here that want us all dead. So we kind of got rid of everyone over here. We get some more recipes like the conceptual reinforcement using the N dimensional latte. A bookshelf that tells us how to make the ring of iron thorns. That's kind of cool. And bookshelf that tells us how to make an X star. Using two plastic ingots, a copper wire, and a fine iron axe. Okay, that's quite nice. Let's open this. Should have disarmed that in proper time. I should probably consider making my own traps as well, because that's kind of the perk of this skill, to be able to make your own traps. But I re really never needed to do that. Loot fisk statue. You have teethed zero pieces of loot fisk. Okay, so this is the loot fisk area. Oh, and another shop. Okay. Oh, we do not need to make an, an our own crossbow anymore because we already can buy a crossbow from this guy. You know what? I'll, I'm not going going to waste my time any longer. I'll just buy a crossbow from this guy rather than hoping to craft it myself. Because honestly, crafting is too much of a pain in the ass. Let's buy it, equip it, and now we have our own very own crossbow to use. We can also sell this disposable ingot press, which is quite nice. The brimstone and. Let's sell the brimstone and pretty much everything else. I really don't need any of these things anymore. 
not, neither the iron ingot, neither the hematite. I really do not need any of these things. Now that I have my own crossbow, crafting is really not that much of an interest anymore. Where would this lead me? Oh shit! This arm, this, this arm. Okay, so we've already been on this other side of the map, so now we know how these maps are all connected at the very least. Yeah, we, we've already been through here. There we go. This is gonna give us some more mushrooms. Let's start eating some of them. Let's eat the lobster main fungus. Easily mistaken for true lobster main. The lobster main fungus is the foundation of a grey market economy and shoddy culinary substitutes. This gave us lobstery toughness. You are imbued with lobstery toughness from this fungus. The lobsteriness can be knocked off of you in 5 hits. Okay, so this gives us extra protection from melee attacks, I guess. Okay, so we got rid of that one. Bars, they're iron bars and they're not moving anyone. I cannot get through that, so let's move on. We got mud wind from that. Okay, so we explored a significant chunk of this map. Some prints, which is quite nice. Nothing we can do to go through over there. Maybe if we go through over here, nope, nothing to help us. This teleported us, which is quite nice. Let's teleport once again. This didn't take us anywhere important, let's teleport once again. And now we got over here. And here we get native gold, which is quite nice. And he, over here we get some other stuff. More enemies to kill, that's quite fine. This is not attacking me at the moment, neither is this, neither is that. Okay, so nobody is attacking me at this point in time, which is quite cool. Let's pray to the Statue of Inconsequentia. The magical artifact Corp Chewy is the destroyer of owls has been lost. You will take on the challenge of finding it for the glory of Inconsequentia? Will you take the challenge of finding it for the glory of Inconsequentia? Yeah, sure, why not. Take all of this stuff. Okay, so we got rid of those fuckers. Let's eat some azure mob as well. To get azure magics. Honestly, I'm just eating mushrooms just for the fun of it. Gag Gaga's glaze. Okay, what's in here? Nothing under that, okay. Nothing under that either. Bookshelf we get. The worst idea. Oh, nice. Free hand grenades and a copper wire using particular parts is the worst idea ever. I like that. The hex axe of the magic axe lords. So using one steel ingot and three double bladed axes. That sounds awesome. Flail of Pleiades, using Platinum Ingot, Pyrite Sun, Zodiacal Wind, and Triple Flail. Okay. Shadi Dwarven ID, let's disarm that. That was quite easy. Let's eat some more mushrooms, because we can, really. 
think I figured what most of these do honestly, so that's quite cool. What did the Fairy Watcher do? It gave me the Fairy Watcher heals you by way of teaming for the power. Okay, so the Fairy Watcher was the healing one. Let's remember that. Got rid of that fucker. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so here we get the Anvil of Krong. And the Anvil of Krong is quite nice because you can upgrade equipment on it. But right now I have no equipment that I'm planning on keeping for the long term. So I do not, I'm not gonna worry too much about that just yet. Okay. Let's see what's over here. Nothing interesting over here, just a long corridor, chalked scroll, it says fish in a very long and narrow barrel. Handheld weaponry dispenser, that would be cool. Let's open this. I do not know what that did, but okay. Let's get rid of these deagles and take their eggs from their nest. I, actually, I should really eat that deep omelet. That's, that looks very nice. Okay, so we've got some stuff going on over here. I, I haven't been using my, uh, my skills recently. Maybe we should do that. Yeah, maybe we should let that these fuckers do their thing. Have my uh, my summon slime deal with all those dwarfs by itself because I, I I like to trust that my slime is going to be able to handle that quite well. There we go. So that was very much done for. Okay, so my slime did most of the dirty work for me. We kind of cleared the entire map, I like to believe. There's not much else for us to do. see what's over here more crude blade traps which we are going to disarm anyway and the uh, easy target curse trap which we're going to disarm and we get an even better crossbow so it's quite nice that you find the best crossbows just by wandering around you don't need to craft them we already have a wood crossbow but we also get this pizza zook those who cross you while you wield this piece of hardware will wish you didn't have a crossbow. It is studded with driftwood. Let's equip this one instead. This sounds quite nice. We cannot descend in that area because of these bars over here. So that's annoying. Maybe we can go around. Yeah, it looks like we can go around. Get rid of that thingy. We get more Moodwen from that. What did Moodwen give us? Moodwen gives us unpleasant poison. This potion is quite unpleasant. Okay, so Moodwen is not something we want to eat. Good to know. What the hell is this? Mellow Shrine. The Mellow Shrine makes you want to like chill out and stuff. Okay. And we also have a zombie, the remains of one of, all, of your predecessors, restored to life by the evil magic of Lord Dreadmore and sent out to kill more adventurers. This monster has not noticed your presence. This monster is asleep. Good to know. 
Let's disarm this. This is another anvil of Krong. Quite a lot of anvils of Krong on this one floor, I will admit. Usually just one per floor. Although here we got, we got two. So I'll keep these anvils for the future. I think that that zombie woke up but he was dealt with by my slime. So that's quite nice. And yeah, I think with this we went we we made a full circle. Yeah, and now we pretty much just finished the entire map. I don't think there are any areas left unexplored on this map. So we did it folks. This was the first floor finally and I do mean finally explored. That's quite nice. We didn't find any anything more oh we got Corp Chewy, the Destroyer of Owls. All right, we have these these quests that we forgot about. No, okay, so we completed the quest. We got Nognus, the Portent of Ships as a reward, which is just a mace class, a, a, a one star mace class weapon, a one out of ten stars. That's pretty fucking shitty for a reward. Okay, what other quests are we still ongoing with? We still need to find Corpcha, the melancholic pork, and take it to the mill. Ah, the mellow shrine! We've already been there. Oh fuck! Let's go back. I want to go back to the melancholic shrine, the the whatever is called shrine. So the mellow shrine is over here. Okay, so where was Corpcha? I hope I did not sell it. Here it is. Okay, so quest complete, your reward, power, how called the Opera of Socks. Where is the Opera of Socks? Did she give it to me? Is it in my inventory? Ah, here it is. Power, power how called the Opera of Socks. It's a free star class weapon. Forged in the maw of a volcano, this sword is edged with obsidian prismatic blades. It is studded with reinforced concrete. Okay, this sounds more useful than what I've got right now. So let's let's replace our crude stone axe, which we already have, with the p p power hawkal, or however the hell you pronounce that. Now let's teleport around. Yeah, so we've traveled a significant bit of the map, we've done our due diligence, we have some quite some nice things on ourselves, let's, let's sell some of our stuff now. Let's sell this wooden crossbow, Ocean of Dying Pyramid, Acidum Salis I'm going to sell. Good blade trap, shrouded dwarven ID, toxic gas sprayer, easy target curse trap, anti magic field, rustic caltrop, zinc blade, nognus the potent aether ships, crude stone thingy, blah blah blah. Okay, we kind of sold most of the stuff we do not want. I believe Moodwin was poisonous to us, right? Was it Moodwin? Yes, it was the mood win. So let's sell the mood win as well because we do not need that. We also have lobster main fungus which hardens us. That's quite useful. The native gold we can just sell. Greedy blunge cap, grungier, the prince. Fell trophy, I forgot what that did. It gave us fell power. Okay, maybe that's going to be useful. The prince gives us. Regal Veeam, which is ex true extra HP, which is quite nice. Grungir gives us Plate Power. You are protected by the power of Plate, well known as a powerful defensive sigil. That's quite cool. And Greedy Blood, Greedy whatever, gives us Plunge Cap Vampirism. Gives us you the ability to drain life from your enemies from when you attack them. Okay, so a lot of these things are quite nice. I do not want to sell them. 
But anyways, we finished everything there was to finish on this floor. We made a lot of progress. The problem is that we still have our own issues to deal with. But for the most part, I would say that we managed to finish all of the quests on this floor. We made some significant progress, I would say. We explored everything there was to explore. And I think we are finally ready to move on to the next floor. So I think we should be able to do just that. So without further ado, let's move on to the second floor. And this is the second floor. I'm not going to end the episode just yet, but I will very soon because I want to give you a taste of what the second floor has to offer. Okay, so that fucker just stepped onto a trap that triggered it on itself. And now I think it just took some damage. This monster is trying to kill you. Okay, so let's try to kill it. And then it uh, ran away. Okay, so that's quite unfortunate. It, 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 it pretty much practices hit and run tactics as far as I see, which is not that impressive, but it is something. We get a lot of bookshelves with multiple recipes, like this thing for Bolt of Mass Destruction using an Iron Bomb, a Spring Loaded Power Core, a Voltaic Cell, and a Fiery Wand. We also get a Massive Shield, which I don't even know how useful that would be, but okay. Bony Axe. And uh, Gaga's Glaze. I think we already unlocked that recipe. Now I see the incoming Vain Glories. Okay. Can we equip that in ex rather than having this? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so that's it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. We have made some progress, we've moved on to the second floor, it's going to take a bit until we end, reach the end of the game, and uh, I'll be honest, I don't think I'll even reach the end of the game in this playthrough, I'll most likely die somewhere down the line, but uh, we shall see, right now we're doing quite fine for ourselves, we are employing the power of mushrooms to survive, and I f I, I'll just, I'd say we're doing quite fine for ourselves. Like, we are doing quite fine, but I'm not going to pretend like this is going to last forever. The difficulty spike is going to be quite significant for the remainder of the floors, so... I'm just going to say we're most likely won't survive until the end of the game. Hell, I've never seen the end of the game myself. But either way, let's have our fun and see you next time.